Hey guys and girls, in this video we're going to take a look at the best laptops for architects. I've made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion, and I've listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the Architect laptops in the video, just subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and leave a comment with a hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best architect laptops on the market right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 2. Lenovo ThinkPad P1 proved to be one of the most popular laptops in the 2019 roundup, providing arguably the best of both worlds in terms of power and portability. Surprisingly, the Lenovo team won't stop at that. They have since released a second generation of the P1 with even more performance packed in. The most powerful version of the laptop sports a 9th gen Intel Core i7 processor, up to 1TB SSD storage, and NVIDIA Quadro T2000 4GB graphics. The latest version of the P1 also includes an optional touchscreen OLED display, providing the sharpest visuals yet for perfectly crisp visualizations. Still thinking aloud? That's a quick grab on the list. Number 9. Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 Coming next on the list is the best touchscreen laptop for architects. Following on from the popular Microsoft Surface Book 2, Microsoft's new version of their popular Surface laptop is more refined than its predecessors offering more options for designers, both inside and out. Inside the machine, you can opt for either an AMD Ryzen or a 10th Gen Intel Core i7 processor, both of which provide more than enough power for the majority of modeling and rendering needs, while up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and a hard disk size of up to one terabyte provides plenty of space for those huge PSD files. On the outside, design-conscious users will appreciate the increased range of finished options of matte black, platinum, cobalt blue, and sandstone. Coming at number 8, Dell Precision 7540 One of the most powerful laptops for technical professions is the Dell Precision 7540. In November last year, Dell's most powerful 15-inch mobile workstation, the Dell Precision 7540, became available with an impressive NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000 graphics card option. Most designers won't quite need such astonishing specs, but for those creating high-res animations and other video content, it's a compelling asset. More jaw-dropping specs follow, up to 126 gigabytes of RAM, and 2TB SSD storage make Precision 75040 one of the most capable machines available. And for architects on a tighter budget, it may be well worth investing the Dell XPS or Dell Inspiron series. Coming at number 7, Acer Nitro 5. If you've already clicked on this laptop and seem not interested, it's time to take a second look. Let's see why I chose the Acer Nitro 5 or more importantly, why a 1650 GTX laptop? Simple. It's the cheapest laptop with a dedicated GPU right now, with the best manufacturing quality, and hence one of the best-selling 1650 GTX laptops on Amazon. There have been several past releases of the Acer Nitro. This is the latest one, and this time the manufacturer has decided to go from a 1050 Ti to a 1650 GTX, which is considered a mid-range GPU for gaming, but it's far more useful for CAD software than it is for gaming. The new version also has dropped the ultra-low voltage U processor i5-8250U, which you still see on some laptops, and replaced it with either a Ryzen 5H processor or a Core i5 9th or 10th gen processor. This not only adds two more cores to the processor, in the case of the Ryzen 5 chips, four cores, 
but also a boost of 0.5 to 1 gigahertz of clock speed. Number 6. Dell XPS 15 While this is a pretty expensive laptop for a student, the main reason behind that is because of its portability. It is probably the most lightweight 15-inch laptop with a 4K resolution at the moment and mid-range GPU. You can choose between a 1650 GTX perfect for students and a 2060 RTX foolproof for architects. The latter can handle any project size, but I think it'd be a better investment if you're already an architect. It's not just the price why this machine is so expensive. It's got a 4K resolution which helps double the amount of workspace area to accommodate several ready-to-click palettes interfaces. Older versions of CAD software may not scale up well though. However, it has a dedicated GPU like a 1650, or you'll only see a fast performance in 2D software like SketchUp. Another reason, it's the chassis and the material. It's all aluminum, making it more resistant to drops, though you should still take care of it. It is just minimizing damage. Does it make it damage proof? Coming at number five, Asus VivoBook. When it comes to having a laptop that works just like you want to, then VivoBook from Asus has it all covered. Asus VivoBook is an amazing laptop with elegant looks that come from a trustworthy brand that holds a well-known reputation in the market. With the launch of the all-new VivoBook with some extensive and admiring features, the laptop has made its way to the top of the list of architectural laptops. The ASUS VivoBook holds to its name and offers you a metallic finish and intriguing design, giving it a premium look. It weighs 1.7 kgs, that's a bit lesser than the MacBook. The touchpad is also highly spacious, so you do not mistakenly click on another button. The laptop features the all-new 8th generation Intel Core processor i7 along with the NVIDIA GeForce MX150 GPU to handle all types of architectural works and make it run smoothly. The laptop also comes with a wider view display that helps in viewing the designs and the images at a wide angle of 180 degrees. For those who need a wide touchpad to work with and users who need more power, the ASUS VivoBook is a strong hold that won't let its users be disappointed with its performance. Coming at number 4, MacBook Pro Contrary to popular belief, Macs are quite popular for architecture. You'll notice this as soon as you start school. A lot of the faculty members in the architecture department will be sporting a Mac, and some students a MacBook. This is even more obvious if your school does use Revit, but Maya, Rhino, or AutoCAD. Not any MacBook will do though. If you want one that can pretty much do everything, you need to grab either the 16-inch model or any of the past versions that come with a dedicated GPU. However, the new MacBook shown here has workstation-like performance. The clock speed can reach up to 5 GHz, and you can also choose a Core i9 with 8 cores, 16 threads for rendering, and even RAM that can be upgraded before purchasing to 64 GB. The 16-inch MacBook has two graphics cards. Both are not like 1080-2080 RTX, its Radeon chips have approximately the power of the 1660 Ti, which is close to the 2060 RTX. In other words, fully capable of satisfying most architects. Number 3. Dell Inspiron 13 7000 For architects and designers that like to present their projects using a digital display, the Inspiron 13 7000 boasts a flippable touchscreen that combines good looks with powerful specifications. The Intel Core i7 processor allows for multiple programs to be run simultaneously without any problems, and a customizable hard drive up to 2TB is available, so storage has never been an issue. With a 13.3-inch display, the Inspiron 13 7000 is ideal for architects that want a more portable laptop than the larger 15- and 17-inch workstations. Coming in at number 2, Asus ROG Zephyrus Laptop Gaming laptops? Not so fast. Those machines designed specifically for the demanding power and graphic requirements of today's video games are also a great option for architects looking for a laptop with top specifications at a reasonable price point. While there are many good gaming laptops out there, the Asus ROG Zephyrus is among the most reputable and claims to be the world's most powerful 14-inch. 
an 8-core AMD Ryzen 9 4900HS CPU, and GeForce RTX 2060 GPU helps design professionals multitask at high speeds. Its 14-inch display keeps it compact, and the laptop weighs just 3.64 pounds, light for a machine of this power and capability. Number 1. HP ZBook Studio G5 Still thinking of the best mobile workstation for architects? Not anymore. The ZBook series has long been a front-runner when it comes to mobile workstations, and the ZBook Studio model is touted by HP as the world's most powerful workstation of its size. The G5 model is one of the most capable machines, ideal for architects and rendering professionals, that prioritize power. Its Intel Core i9 processor and NVIDIA Quadro RTX graphics can comfortably handle the modeling and visualization needs of even the most demanding projects. Add in HP's signature dream color display and several other refinements made to this popular model, you have got a mobile workstation that is hard to beat. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best architect laptops. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.